We will let you guys get set up with your music. Grab your mats and we will get rolling. Really nice to see everyone. We're practicing outside. <laughs> we have like we're we're out in Tofino right now and uh we're in staying at this like most magical place in the middle of like the trees in the forest here and it's been so quiet all day and then I get you guys on here and someone drives down here honking their horn but we'll make do okay I think we're gonna get started yeah awesome so 30 minutes you guys know the drill you've all done this class with me before my biggest focus is the breath so I actually don't care if you're falling out of the postures if you're having trouble with any of the movements just keep the breath consistent and rhythmic and we will move from that point. One little side note I want you guys to really focus on is being really present and grateful for what your body has to offer you today. So we get so focused on the future. I want to be stronger. I want to be leaner. Um, I want to lose weight. I want to whatever, whatever is in your head with uh, what you want with your body. But understand how amazing it is that you're showing up here on the mat and the strength that you already have. And then just focus on the breath. And then we start to really tap into our inner strength and everything kind of starts to flow together. Okay. So let's come to stand at the top of our mat. I'm going to plug in my mic so we have a little bit louder. Awesome. Okay. Standing at the top of our mat. I can see a few of you. Awesome. Great to see you. So let's start to organize the body here. Let's bring our feet hip width distance apart. We're going to start with a few sun salutations, so let's organize our body here and start to tap into the breath in and out through the nose. Slight constriction of the back of your throat. Might be the first time that you really focused on the breath today, so really just take deep, deep belly breaths. Just notice how you can send it all the way down into your toes, into your fingertips. Kind of awakening the body. Good. And then let's bring our feet a little bit closer together and start to move with the breath. So inhale, let's bring our arms up towards the ceiling, lengthen and reach out of the body. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, gaze up, flat spine. Plant your hands, jump or step back into high plank. Let's lower, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Right away, inhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Your back heel stays lifted and inhale, come up with the arms. We're just taking one breath here. With your exhale, bring your hands back down to the mat. Step back into high plank. Let's lower, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Right away, switching sides. Inhale, step your left foot through. Your back heel's lifted. You're strong and steady as you come up with the arms. Let's take one inhale and exhale. Return your hands back down to the mat. Stepping back, high plank. Move through your vinyasa. Lower chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. So first downward facing dog of the day. You can move your knees a little bit here. You can maybe move your hips just for the first few breaths and then find some steadiness. Really ground down strongly through your hands and your feet. Maybe close your eyes and just start to feel into the breath. Good. Let's bring our gaze forward. Jump or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, look up, long spine. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, come all the way up nice and strong. And arms by your side. Samastitihi. Good. Two more just like that. Inhale, come up with the arms. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, gaze comes up. We plant the hands, jump or step back through high plank, lower chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Our right foot steps in between our hands, our back heel is lifted. For one breath, we inhale our arms up towards the sky. With our exhale, we lower. Moving back through high plank. When you're with your exhale, we lower. Inhale, our shoulders up towards the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the left foot through. 
same movement. Inhale your arms up. Good. Let's return our hands down to the mat. Step back through high plank. Let's lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing duck. Exhale, downward facing duck. Beautiful. Now we have the movement. We're starting to warm the body up. Focus really intensely on the breath. Yeah, let's bring our gaze forward. Jump your step to the top of your mat. Inhale, gaze comes up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And samastitihi. Good, last one. Inhale, we rise up. And exhale, we fold. Inhale, gaze comes up. Plant your hands, jump or step back. With your exhale, we lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing duck. Exhale, downward facing duck. Good. Inhale, right foot steps through. Coming into our high lunge, arms rise up. One inhale. Exhale, we lower. Move through your vinyasa, stepping back. Lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Keep moving with your breath. Inhale, step your left foot forward. We rise up with the arms. And then exhale, step back. Lowering Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take one big breath here. And then let's come back forward into high plank. So really strong through the shoulders, strong through the legs. You can always drop your knees at any point in this if it's too intense. Okay, we're going to stay here and then just bring some movement into the wrist. So just rocking forward and back. So if you're in your high plank, it looks more like this. You can do it on your knees as well. The movement will just be a little smaller. So right away, activating the core. Belly button's drawing towards the spine. We're filling out the upper back. Okay, and then we push back, downward facing up. Now we're gonna start to move with the breath and start to wind the spine down. So we're gonna curl forward into high plank. When you hit high plank, drop your pelvis towards the mat like an upward facing dog. Good, and then we exhale our hips back up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do about four more. Inhale forward. Coming into high plank, drop your pelvis. And exhale back up. So now you know the movement. Move with your own breath and make it as fluid as possible. We're trying to heal the spine, working every part of the vertebrae. Okay, let's do two more. Beautiful. These look awesome. Good A's, good Kira. Last one. And return downward facing dog. Good. Slow down the breath. One huge breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Come back into high plank. And this time lower yourself all the way down onto your belly. Good. Working into the low back now. Hands are going to be beside your chest. Long through the neck so your gaze is down. Now hover your hands off the mat. And inhale. Let's lift the chest up. For one. And lower. We're doing five in total. Inhale, lift, and lower. Good. Inhale, lift. That's three. Lower. Strong through the legs. Last two. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Plant your forehead down onto the mat. Bend both knees. Reach around, catching on to your ankles from the outside edge. And inhale, let's kick up and lift for Danya Rasna. Beautiful. Good Tom, good Steve. Keep breathing here. Can you kick a little higher? For three, two, and one. Beautiful, let's release. Tap your forehead down, plant your hands beside your chest. Inhale forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Again, let's bring our gaze forward. Jumpers up to the top of your mat. Inhale, we gaze up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, come all the way up. And some SDTT. Beautiful work. Let's take our feet hip distance apart. Hands in front of your chest into prayer. All the weight's gonna come into the left foot and let's cross our right ankle over top of our left knee and start to sink. Sit down into chair posture. So again, we're gonna create fluid motion and move with the breath here. So take a big breath here. Okay, from here, unwind, kick your right foot back behind you for flying posture, keep your hands in prayer. Good. Bend into that left knee, gently place your right toes back, coming into your high lunge. Let's take your hands in prayer behind your head and start to lean back. Push your head into your hands and your hands into your head. Good, release your hands back in front of your chest and we're gonna step forward. Keep that right foot lifted and place it back over your left ankle. Same movement, sit down. Take a breath, if you wobble, if you fall, you just join us again. As we unwind, kick your right foot back behind you for flying posture. And bend into that left knee. We gently place our right foot down, coming into our lunge. Take your hands behind your head. Start to lean back. Open through the chest. One breath. Full exhale. And last time as we unwind. Let's step forward. If you need to touch your toes down, you can. And then we're going to cross. Beautiful. I tricked a few of you. <laughs> Good. One breath. As we unwind, kick your foot back. These all look so good. Beautiful. One breath. Bend your left knee. Plant your right foot down. Take your hands behind your head and start to lean back. Let's unwind from the posture. Hands in front of your chest and step your right foot forward to meet your left. Good. Let's give it a little shake before we switch sides. And then we'll move into the left. So find your right foot. Again, stand up nice and tall. And then let's take this left ankle over top of your right knee, sitting nice and deep. Perfect. Now steady into that right foot, engage through your core as you unwind, kick your left foot back. Let's bend into that right knee, plant your left foot back behind you. Take your hands behind your head and lean back. Good, return your hands in front of your chest, step forward, crossing that left foot over top of your right knee. I'm wobbling with you guys, go to sit deep. Watch that you're not holding your breath as you unwind, kick it back into flying posture. And everything into the center nice and strong. Bend into that right knee, plant your foot down, take your hands behind your head. Again, your head is pushing into your hands, hands into your head. So you have this beautiful lengthening action of the upper back. Last time through, hands in front of your chest, step forward. So we're getting extremely strong through the legs and then also creating this beautiful rhythm with the breath. Unwind, kick back. Let's sink into that front knee. Coming back into our high lunge, hands behind your head, lean back. Good, unwind and step forward. Give it one little shake, full breath in, release your hands. Good. Let's take a step back with our right foot. So we're gonna pivot around and we're coming into our high lunge once again. So right knee is directly over your ankle, your heel is lifted, and let's bring our arms up towards the ceiling. Good, soften your shoulders down your back, take one full inhale, one full exhale. With your next inhale, let's tap our left knee down onto the mat, Inhale, we straighten that knee and reach your left arm forward, right arm back. Gaze comes back towards your right fingertips. Good. Inhale, your hands back up through center. Let's tap that left knee down. Inhale, we straighten. And then again with the arms, left arm forward, right arm back. Good. Two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we tap our knee down. Straighten. And then reach with your arms. Good, last one. Inhale, arms up through center. Tap your left knee down. Inhale, straighten. 
reach through the arms. Let's inhale our arms back up through center. Bring your hands onto either side of this front foot and then straighten that right leg. Good. Let's bring our right toes up towards the ceiling, fold forward. The legs are long and strong here. When we pause here for these movements, just take a moment to kind of settle back into the breath. Dive back into your intention. Make sure that you're focused. Kind of like a reset time. Good. We're going to bend into this right knee and start to walk our hands out in front of us and raise your left leg up parallel with the mat. We're going to start to hug the left knee in towards your nose and then extend it back out. Good. Again, inhale, knee comes in. Exhale out. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. And last one. Let's bring a bend into the right knee. Gently place the left toes down onto the mat. And inhale. Let's come all the way up. And switch sides. Beautiful. Taking our high lunge on the left. So again, organizing the body nice and steady here. Inhale. Let's come up with the arms. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Let's bend the right knee. Tap it down onto the mat. We straighten and then open the arms. Right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale, arms up through center. Exhale, tap. Inhale, back up and reach your arms. Good. Two more here. Inhale through center. Exhale, we tap. Straighten the leg and reach the arms. Last set. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, arms up through center, return your arms down onto either side of that front foot and straighten your front leg. Your toes can drop towards the ceiling and fold forward. Beautiful. So there's a ton, a ton of strength here in these postures. Allow this time to stretch into the back of the legs. Breathe into the upper spine, breathe into your fingertips, your toes. Good. Plant your left foot down onto the mat if it isn't already and bend into that left knee. Walk your fingertips forward. Bring your right leg up parallel with the mat. And then five crunches here with this right leg. So inhale, knee comes in. Try to touch your nose. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Last one. Beautiful. Bring your right foot to meet your left and let's fold forward here. You can grab onto your big toes with your thumb and peace finger and start to draw your belly toward your legs. You can wrap around and grab onto your ankles, whatever feels good here. And let's start to roll up through the spine. Returning to standing at the top of our mat, shoulders down your back. Yeah, let's take a vinyasa together. Inhale, reach with the arms. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, gaze comes up. Plant your hands, jump or step back. High plank. Lower chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, let's step our right foot in between our hands and drop your left knee down onto the mat. Today, let's straighten that front leg, shift your pelvis back, toes up towards the ceiling. This is way too intense. Come on to some blocks here. You can come up a little higher, even hands onto your hips. Now watch the neck. Make sure it's nice and long. Shift the right hip back, left hip forward. And then I just want you to sink into some deep breaths here. And now let's take both hands over to the right. So walking your hands off the right side of your mat, coming to a bit of a twist. Gaze can come back towards your left toes or even your right shoulder. So we're just starting to access the leg from different angles here. 
ensuring that we're hitting it in all different areas, creating this balanced form with the body. Okay, let's walk our hands all the way to the opposite side now, off the left side of your mat. Breathe into the right side of the body. Create a ton of extension and length here. Okay, let's walk our hands back through center. And now untuck your back toes and you're gonna slide back and sit on top of your heel. So really weird placement, but you're actually sitting, your perineum is sitting right onto your heel, okay? Your toes are up towards the ceiling. And if you can't sit here like this, you can always place a blanket under your leg here. And then we're gonna fold forward. And if that's way, way too uncomfortable for your knee, you take your foot to the inside edge of the right foot, or the right leg, sorry. Okay. So see what your body needs. Sometimes knees, depending on if you've had injuries or anything, kind of won't go to this angle and that's okay too. Let's sit up nice and tall. If you're sitting on top of your heel, you just keep returning to the back and come off of your heel and plant your left foot up towards, or sorry, your left foot onto the mat, left knee up towards the ceiling, and then we'll twist. Take your right arm to your left knee, left fingertips behind you, gaze comes back. So although we're slowing things down, if you keep that same consistent rhythmic breath, then the body and the mind are working just as hard to maintain it. So it's up to you to kind of hold that intention, hold the strength, and kind of hold the intensity of your practice. Good, let's unwind from our twist. We're gonna cross our ankles and come forward, planting your hands onto the mat. Jump your feet apart, and we're gonna come into crow. So your hands are onto the mat, your knees are going to come into your armpits. You're going to bend your elbows and then just start to bring your weight forward. So we're getting used to the idea of coming off here into an arm balance. Some of you may just lift one foot, take a breath, lift the other, or we lift both up and we start to come into this balance. Now, the other option, if you cannot seem to get that at all, is to bend your elbows and plant your knees more to the outside edges of your arms and then come forward. Some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy, but I know you can do it. <laughs> Give it a go. One more second here. Beautiful. Good, Kira. Good, Robin. Good. And then let's jump or step back into high plank. We'll run through our vinyasa, lower chaturanga then. That's not. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Right away, step your left foot through. Drop your right knee down onto the mat and straighten that left leg, shifting your hips back. Good. And just take a moment here. So understanding that everything is in your favor to shift into more of this neutral balanced state or a state of healing and relaxation. So this is where our body wants to rest most of the time. If you find that you're stressed a lot of the time or you're really wound up, then it's just gonna take some work to unwind that pattern until you can come back into this resting state. Good. Let's take our hands off the left side of our mat now, breathing into the right side of the body. Watch the breath send it down into your belly. Let's walk our hands off the opposite side now, going over to the right. Consistently checking in with how you're showing up right now. Let's walk our hands back to the center. And then again, we're gonna untuck our right toes and shift back, sitting right on top of our right heel. Again, if that's not possible, your right foot comes to the inside edge of the left leg, and then we fold forward. So this activation point right at the perineum 
they say is extremely powerful because it's where our chakra system starts. So this is kind of that base where we lie at the first chakra, our main energy channel. So this is kind of an activation point to sort of kick the chakra system kind of into gear. And so shift off, take that right foot, plant it onto the mat, right knee up towards the ceiling. And then let's come into our twist. Left elbow to your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Watch that that left foot remains up towards the ceiling nice and strong. And then watch if you can take the posture a little bit longer. Can you sit a little bit taller? Can you twist a tiny bit more? Utilizing this time here on the mat. And let's unwind from the posture. We're gonna cross our ankles, come forward. And one last time, we're gonna try crow posture. So again, plant your hands strongly. You can just play with moving your weight forward even, becoming light on your toes. It takes huge, huge core muscles here to pull up into the body. Take one more breath. And jump or step back into high plank. Lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Let's jump all the way through onto our seat. Come to lay flat onto our back. Plant your feet onto the mat. We're going to take two back bends today, moving quite consistently. So plant your feet onto the mat and then start to shift into your back bend. So your arms can be by your side. They can be onto your lower back. You can plant them beside your ears. And if you're going into your full wheel, take a moment on the crown of the head and then all the way up. Now, if the upper back is really tight, come onto your toes and see if you can create a little more space. Good. For three, two, one, let's unwind. Lie flat, take one big breath. Good, and let's move into our last one. So find what stage is best for you. And when we arrive there, we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one, beautiful. Let's return onto our back. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Start to rock maybe from side to side. And open your arms up nice and wide. Let's take our knees over to the left, gaze over towards your right fingertips. Breathe into the side of the body, slow things down. And knees back up through center, switching sides. Gaze over to the left. Bring our knees back up through center. We're going to take a short halasana here. So bring your toes up towards the ceiling. Start to send your toes back behind you, hands onto your lower back. Long through the neck, still huge breaths into the body. Continue your breathing rhythm right to the very last point. Beautiful, let's slowly start to unwind. Hugging your knees into your chest one last time. Then you can rock yourself back up onto your seat. If you have longer and you want to stay and take a Shavasana, you can. If not, join us on your seat. Let's take our hands in front of heart center. Let's take three really deep belly breaths here.
take one more breath. Thank you very much, everyone. Namaste. Thanks, guys. <laughs>